at episode five and I stopped. I forgot to hit record button. So all that intro, it's gone. We're not doing it again. Um, this week, we got a lot of topics coming up. We are going to be going over, as always, top tens for the week. We are going to be going over some people that got their wings this week. Congratulations to them. We got a little handful. We've got mission discussion elimination. We got some strategy coming up for respawn. And then we're going to finish off with some announcements. And then we're going to uh, go back to playing Call of Duty Warzone because that game is amazing. Dude, I'm loving it so far. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty fantastic. Uh, quick programming note for everybody. We do have two more emotes in the chat. We have an approved sub emote. That is boom, CH2 sub. That is a beautiful picture of Mr. Razor Redneck himself telling you that you need to sub. And you can sub to us by going to twitch.tv, hitting that button in the top corner that says gift a sub. There's one there that says Twitch Prime. Give us Jeff Bezos' money. He doesn't need it. We do. Follow, like, comment, repost, put it out on the tweets. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Anything we get, we always give back, guys. That's and true. Watch that is true. I you. did I did set up my uh my first withdrawal, so as soon as that hits the bank, we're gonna be buying some stuff for the stream. Look out for that. Hopefully it'll be in the next week or two. And for those of you who are watching this on YouTube tomorrow and are lame not watching it with us today. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, 1 p.m. Thursday is the replay. Beautiful. It's really good. I feel like there's I something I'm missing to, I'm forgetting to do right now, and I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah it's that feeling that you forget something, but yeah. you, you know. Oh no, we forgot Birdie. Yeah, we did. Oh, dang it. Birdie, uh -oh. come back. <laughs> um, Alright. <laughs> Let's... Uh... Let's let's start out our uh, talk for the week. So, uh, Christian, you're It'd first. It'd be cool if week. Birdie was watching. Oh, man. Oh, the week. Ooh, I actually played over the weekend. I'm happy. I was excited. Twice on Alcatraz, twice on Shanty. It was good to be back. Uh, I tried out my new play style. Very, very beneficial. Hmm. Points have been not. Points have uh, been gracious to me. And then I went... Uh, then I went, you know, karaoke with this guy. Uh, really fun. <laughs> wow, some actual social Oh, I know. Yep. What is this madness? Nice. It's really great. All right, throw it out to Ben, man. How was your fun. weekend? How was your week? What'd you do, bud? Ah, uh, well, I went karaoke with Christian last night. Uh, and today I went mm -hmm. to Chicago Botanic Gardens and learned about how to raise chickens in my backyard. How to raise chickens. How to how to raise birdies? Interesting. <laughs> oh, how to raise... Yeah. yeah. How we'll to raise that one birdies. Go. Um, I did remember what I forgot to say. The second emote is Boom CH2 gear. That'll give you the crossed guns. We're going to use that for bowling and stuff. We got a bunch of, bunch of hype emotes right now. Uh, we are three more away, three more sub points away from getting another level of emotes unlocked. So... We can get three more subs in the chat. That would be fantastic. Uh, that will also trigger, if they're quick enough, the hype train. We got a hype train last week. I want to see if we can do that again this week, possibly. Um, that's all up to you guys, though. We've got to keep you guys hyped. Mm -hmm. All right. So, new happenings. Um, well, oh, my week. My week was pretty fun. Yeah. I went out to Iowa. I spent the weekend out in Iowa with... Uh, uh, Defenestrate, my brother Nick and Birdie went out there. We were victorious, victorious over a um, escape room, which was pretty awesome. We did a cellar based escape room, so very few puzzles, a lot of just finding hidden keys and figuring out where they went. Um, we also had some delicious steak, went to the casino, oh. lost some money. <laughs> lost <laughs> some <laughs> money. <laughs> But that's where the subscriber money goes. Oh. Penny slots. It's all about penny slots. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, 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 we were playing craps. The dice were not kind to us. Rigged dice, dude. Rigged yeah. dice. It was it was pretty rough. Uh, I think Nick played the entire time and didn't win a single a single throw. Oof. Yeah, we played no for like forty five minutes. Yeah, it was it was rough. Like these guys. If anyone knows anything about craps, they were like. Hitting a point and then sevening out nonstop. I even did it. Oh. Uh, oh well. Gambling. 
Um, yeah. Um, what so else I, they do? Sunday, so I, I don't drove do home. It. Powers, thank you for the donation. Appreciate the dollar, sir. Yeah, um, Powers! We have the uh, 1v1 League solo signups are still going on. If you are not signed up, uh, please go ahead and head to Facebook. The, uh, the group is linked on the Chicago West and all of the other groups. Go ahead and get in there. Check out the rules. We have three more spots available. Um, three spots will fill out the 16 that we need to get started. Uh, drafts for the pods are next week. And we also have... Oh, we do have um, every field being represented. We have a member, I think, from every... Oh, wait. Maybe not Waukesha. I have to double check. I know we got people from Chicago, Madison, and Michigan signed up already. Um, so if you win it, you will absolutely become the first crossfield champion. Hmm. And you can cross put a stamp field on that. Champs. Cross field champ. Yeah, okay. Imagine that. The first crossfield champ. Yeah, pretty wild. Of... Um, <clears throat> other news from the chats. We got sixes and sevens is going down to Louisiana. Uh, they're going to be playing in a tournament down there. They got a eye combat that opened up down there. Not corporate, it's franchise, but they're going to be doing a tournament. So we're going to give them, wish them the best of luck in two weeks. I believe they go down the weekend of the 21st. Good Louisiana? Uh, I believe it's in Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah. All right. Good luck, guys. So good, good luck to you to out them. there. Hello to all of our new viewers that we picked up in the last week. I know we got some people in New Jersey, potentially some people in Houston. Hello to the guys down in Missouri. Welcome. We appreciate you guys being here. Um, And... I think that's about it for me. That's all my updates. So, if you guys are ready, we can uh, we can head over to the uh, top ten if you guys want. Sure thing. Click. All right. Let me make sure we got the right one here. Uh, did I freeze? Did I freeze? Yeah. Oh yeah, you froze. That's right. Just reconnect. Uh, Thank you. Bam. All right. Well, this might did be a work? spoiler, but we're gonna switch over to the top ten. I don't think it's gonna be accurate. Nope. Oh, it is. All right. Cool. That's our Chicago one. All right. All right. So we've got top 10 for Chicago. We're going to read them off bottom to top like we always do, and then we'll come back and we'll comment. So 10th place, we got Joe Rebel, 26,000 points. Rebel. Ninth place, the Ramirez, also 26,000 points. Mm. Eighth mm -hmm. place, Ben Big Mac, 27,000 oh, points. Seventh mm -hmm. place, we got Ray Ray, 30, Ray, in seventh Ray. with 29,000 points. Number six, Janelle with 29,000 points. Number five, Tiberius, 32,000 points. Number four, Mr. X ray Gun, 35,000 points. Number three, Killer Cobra, finding his campsite once again with 45,000 oh. points. Something number, two, Commander, number two, Commander Irwin, 51,000 points. And number one, The Owl, topping the list with 53,000 points. Gentlemen, discuss. Well, Gentlemen somebody discuss. gets Killer Cobra oh. cool already. For that corner. Oh yeah, yeah. yo! Honestly, his Capri Suns it mm -hmm. motivate him to get up there. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I also Commander ready. Irwin, the walking hype train for Shanty man. Always excited. Always, you can mm -hmm. hear him at the top of his lungs across the map. He's ready. Oh yeah. I do want to issue then, an apology though on the stream. I'm sorry, Levi. I kicked you out of a uh, top ten. The oh my gosh, really? Oh jeez. <laughs> right <at> the last <laughs> second. Really? Okay. Uh, he got to 11th, and it was a 9 p.m. session. Okay. Just uh, barely pushed him out. Okay. Oh, really? All right, so, all right. Everyone, so, then you were able to top Ramirez and Joe Rebel, too. Yeah, so we got some got some regular names up there. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, everyone's up there. First timers. Got Ramirez up there for the first time. Congrats to him. Welcome to the top 10. Okay. Welcome, Ramirez, and welcome, Bobby. Welcome. Who else is a first timer? I think that's all. Everyone else has been on the list before. Maybe, maybe the owl. No, the owl's been on there before. He's been on there. Yeah. They were uh, the whole the whole scouts uh, group. They were talking to me. They were like, we were only playing just to get on the podcast. And yeah. then here's Levi. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Those scouts are getting a little cocky. Like, oh, they are. Oh yeah. Getting a little man. Cocky. Getting uh, they're so happy. They are about good. They're very good. 
Very cocky. Well, you just got to take him off of a shanty. <laughs> Put him on Alcatraz. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. So, let's so, see here. Like... So, I'm pulling up the last seven days to see who just barely missed the list. But as we're looking at this here, we got some pretty good kill streaks on there. 28, 37 for Ramirez. KDR is 7, 92 for Ramirez. Everybody else is Woo! in the twos except for Ben. I'm not that good at killing. Rebel. Ben and Joe Rebel. Yeah, coming in 11th right. through 15th, right. just barely making the list. We had Liana. We had Left Shark. We had Levi Ackerman out and 10K himself. Oh. Hey, guys. I, uh, yeah, I played four sessions that weekend. It was nice. That's not bad. Yeah, especially, well, I guess you had the weekend before off. How's gear doing, by the way? I wasn't yeah, there all weekend. How's the gear? Oh, uh, doing good. <laughs> not a lot came back said, to the arm. Oh. Not a lot came back to my parts room, so. That's good. Or me and James's parts room. James and I's parts room. <laughs> James's parts room. <laughs> like that. Okay. When I walked in, all there was was two guns, and I was like, oh, not bad. Okay, like, hey, fix that. <laughs> That's acceptable. Um, cool. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna. If anyone has anything else to say, I think we're gonna switch over to uh, Madison, which I think is next. Sound good? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sounding cool. great. Um, to the chat, uh, you'll notice that the sub badges have changed. Um, I did do some updates. I have a uh, I have a little sub enjoyment of the game, uh, Dead by Daylight. So uh, your subs are now listed by the months and they got tick marks so if you're one month sub you get one tick mark two month will be two etc up until the year which you become a big one yr for one year so something to look forward to also as a note for people that uh, had gifted subs um, those are probably going to wear out pretty soon because i think that those are about three weeks old now uh if you're enjoying us and you want to keep supporting us go ahead and give us those twitch primes or you could pay 4.99 and you can just up to us we appreciate that. All right, mm -hmm. moving on to Madison. Enough, enough plugs. There is our Madison boys and gals. So in tenth place. Oh, hold on. There we go. Tenth place. We got Fezman, fifteen thousand points. Number nine, Artaf with sixteen thousand. Number eight, Reaper's Death, seventeen thousand. Number uh, seven Reaper. is Pajama Pants, nineteen five. Number six is Knees Duts. With twenty five six, number fifth no nut no nutrition with twenty six thousand, number four live for the moment thirty thousand points, number Burn. three Barney Sintinson I think I got his name right, that's thirty three thousand points there. Number two is Rainbow forty one thousand points, and number one getting back on the top of the board is Doki. All right, all right. That's this. Sounding good. I Again, am liking this. Yeah, lots of lots of consistent players always hitting their top ten. We do have, I believe, Artaf might be a new, a new joiner. He's fighting for it. He's fighting for mm -hmm. it. I like it. Um, I'm gonna run through the. Uh, oh, hey, I just got a spoiler note here. Um, oh. I'll read that when I get to the top. Here are the notes from Live for the Moment. So, Fezman. Gotcha. Uh, Evan. <laughs> Sorry, I can read the notes. You guys can't. Um, Evan, apparently, Fern is irritated every time he sees him walking to the base, killing everyone in his path. And they have a side note. I hope this whisper comes across the screen. Catch him walking around in Alcatraz on Friday. Looks like we got some people coming oh. to visit us, boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I'm at a wedding. I can't play. It's yeah. annoying. Oh, me either. I'm managing this week. God dang. I just want to play. Maybe I'll call him sick. <laughs> Is that acceptable? Come on, dude. <laughs> All right. Our Go task, easy on me. It's my first. Our task, one of the new regulars, <laughs> Reaper. We've talked plenty about Reaper. He's a monster. Uh, pajama pants. Um, mixed player. Yeah, I I think all of these players on here, they've already gotten their their time in the sun. Mm -hmm. uh, Doki still not on his first star. He's still he'll probably get it next week, so he'll be our first general shout out. 
Uh, but it looks that? like for notes here, we got uh, Fez Man, Live for the Moment, coming out Friday, plus maybe some other people. Oh, wait, they're playing the five and six. I can play those. On Friday? Yeah, Friday, five and six. Oh. Darn it. There we go. You guys are in the area. Come out and join those sessions. Friday, Chicago, five and six. Play against the Madison boys. Yeah, have some fun. All right. Madison is Uh, done. Let's move on to... Michigan. Michigan, all right. 10th place, JFG1, 30,000. Ninth place, Late Apex, 30,000 there as well. 8th place is Black Attack, 33,000. 7th place, 10 p.m., 37,6. 6th place is Kill Switch. 45,000 points. Number five, Jelly Bean, 51,000 points. I am jealous of the amount of points these guys put up. I'm just saying. It's crazy. Um, yeah, very. Fourth place, Tyler with 52,000 points. Number three, Sharpshooter27 with 60,000 points. And second place, Thermit the Frog, 70,000 points. Number one, Meth Morrow retaking number one again with 91,000 uh, points. Showing why he is the number one right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's oh. probably going to be the number one for the foreseeable future. Yeah. There's yeah. not a way reasonably to catch him outside of moving to Rochester and breaking his knees. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, <laughs> breaking his knees. <laughs> not that we ever, ever would hope such a thing. Ever would hope such a thing on such a great player. Just saying, if you want to slow him down, go low. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why they move a lot in football. Yeah. You want to yeah. slow them down, kneecaps, man. Yeah. Kneecaps, they yeah. make all the difference. Mm-hmm. Just have him meet you out back by the parking lot. There you go, he's got security. The, oh my <laughs> gosh. Jeez, he's got security. <laughs> oh, and since uh, Birdie's not here, someone has to give that shout out for Jelly Bean every oh, time. Yeah, hype for Jelly. Yep. Since I'm filling hype in. For jelly. There you go. I feel like Birdie gets a little more hype, but you did a good job. Nice feeling. By the way, <laughs> if you would ever like to be on the podcast, please feel free to reach out to any of the members of the group. That'd be Christian, Natalie, and myself. We will find a spot to get you in. As you can see, Birdie likes to not show up. Yeah! <laughs> just say, I'm just joking. She's really busy. Her friend got her going all over the place. I mean, her friend's literally performing, so that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, um, it is. She supports her friends and family yeah. and everything uh, If in you guys between. use Spotify, look up Jay Deco. That is the uh, gentleman that's performing tonight, Jay Deco. I All just right. got a text saying, oh. oh, my God. Okay, I got a text from someone. Commander Irwin wants in on the podcast. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he just texted me right now. Okay. While okay. I'm on my... Well, I guess I'm just uh, scouting things out for him. Okay, yeah. If you guys ever want to be in, just <laughs> All right. So let me run down this uh, rundown Rednecks list here. Uh, JFG lo- stays low. Hard to see. Great player. Tyler. Uh, still looking for input on Tyler. Oh, wait. He's got old notes from last week. What's going on here? No updates, I guess, to the regulars? Oh, no. Uh, they're out of order. That's why. It's the same players. Oh. They're just not in the same order. Mostly. That's fine. Uh, no one on the list is new. We love you all. Um, shout out to Michigan. You guys you guys keep doing what you're doing. By the way, good luck in Michigan with your you corona. Guys. It just popped up out there. Be careful. Wash your hands. Oh, did it really? Yeah, they had uh, two or three cases pop up yesterday, and then it's spreading like, like it does. So just be safe. Uh, okay. Just be safe. Of course. All right. That yeah, is it for Michigan. guys. Hand sanitizer is always uh, it's always available. So, Correct. remember. I hope it is. Just drink vodka, just as good. No, don't trust me on that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving I'm on. Not a, not a medical professional. I know moving, nothing. Moving on, we got Waukesha. Uh, Waukesha, we got a top oh, ten here. Waukesha. Tenth place, we got Joker, sixteen thousand points. Harry Poppins in ninth place, Joker. With Walker, sixteen thousand points. Eighth place was Unicorn Rage, twenty thousand. Seventh place, Egg Thrower with 20,000. Sixth place, Ashway with 22,5. Fifth place, Erevin. Fifth place? Fifth place, Erevin with 25,000 points. 
fourth place, Frankenstein with 26,000 points. Third place, sixes and sevens with 27 time, 27,000 points, getting some gun time in. Second place is our reporter, Frog Champ, with 30,000. And first place, Sniper, 17, 47,000. Oh, you better. Ooh. Yeah. You better hope Sniper 17's on your team every time you walk out there. Which he surprisingly is. I believe he is a member of Team Mayhem with sixes and sevens. Uh, and his son and somebody else that are going to be going down to that tournament. So wish the best of luck to All them. Right. Good luck, you guys. You guys the backing of the podcast luck, and the whole it. community to win that tournament. Do, do us proud. All right, let me look through the notes here. Let's see, Egg Thrower, he's one of the new guys to the list. Um, He's been trying to uh, make the list, just having fun playing, bringing in his friend to play a lot. Uh, He does have a pretty high kill death and um, uh, killing ratio. Let's see what that is over here. Egg Thrower, yeah, 3-3-1. 3-3-1-1, that's not too bad. Um... Everybody else has been on the list before, so yeah, I think we're just going to go there. Mm -hmm. um, we are planning a trip up to Waukesha, I believe, still for the end of the month. Is that accurate, Ben? Yep, I'm going to be up on the 27th and 28th, but I'm probably only be playing on the 27th. Okay. I can gotcha. do either gotcha. or, depending on what's better for everyone else. Okay. We Understood. Am I getting messages? What is this noise? What is going on? I'm getting Facebook messages to join the podcast. That's what I'm getting. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> oh, Sniper is Sixes Son. Then who's... Oh, does he have... To... Who's Sixes and Sevens Junior then? Yeah, that's why I thought who... Yeah, what the... <laughs> that is deceptive. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Congrats JP, to all of our Wonkashonians. Uh, well, like I said, we'll be up there probably at the end of the month, so... Um, we'll get more details as we get closer. I think that I want to go up there on Saturday. Uh, most likely because I'm going to be... Oh, also his son. Wonderful. Okay. Um, I'm okay. probably going to have to work Saturday morning. So, yeah. Saturday afternoon, we'll be up there playing. Yeah, and then uh, the New Jersey people will see me over there in May. Oh, sweet. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That is the locational top 10. Now, the gear swap exclusive continual top 10. Continual. Oh, can't All right. <laughs> On oh, the look at that. top of the list, look we've at got that. Commander Irwin hitting his fifth board. And we have a very definitive top 10 now. Uh, we have Barney Stinson, Black Attack, Doki, Jelly Bean, Killer Cobra, Methmaro, Rainbow, Sharpshooter, and. Thermit the Frog tied in that second spot with four appearances. Oh, okay, okay. Coming in with three appearances, we've got some Waukeshonians appearing. Erevin, Ash Away. Then we got Ben Big Mac. Congrats, sir. JFG, oh, Light you, Apex, Knees Duts, Pajama Pants, Sniper 17, Speed Runner, The Owl, and Tiberius. Holding down the fort with three board appearances. Congrats to you guys as well. Yeah. All right, all right. Good job, oh. everyone, on doing that. It's tough Ooh, to get Chicago, that. Chicago number one. Ah, Ooh, <laughs> yeah, great, loving it. Yeah, keep, stay that way. Just keep it that way. Um, I can go back and look, Sean, but I am pretty accurate. But I will double check. Um, mm -hmm. there was the first week we didn't count because I didn't save the actual recording, so I couldn't record it. So, this is only the last four weeks. Um, As we're looking at this screen, you guys are taking in the looks here. We do have some wings to give out this week. Congratulations oh, yeah. to the Owl. I don't know if we if you got it last week or this week, but if you didn't, congratulations, sir. Tactical88 got his wings this week, as well as... My boys. Guts. So, congrats to uh, you. Timo! Nice guy. Always a nice guy. Team on the Owl. Great kids. Team on the Owl. Kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Nice guys. Both of them very nice guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyone Congrats. else? Let's put some 
Let's uh for the people that got their wings, let's put some gear swaps in there. Oh, sharpshooter got his uh, general star. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, sharpshooter got his star. Oh, Ooh, sharpshooter got star. Oh, hey. Well, congratulations. It's hard. Congrats. Good job. It's a little harder to track the stars after level one because they come at weird intervals. But congratulations for the general star. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Good this is job. Chat. Good job. Participation is wonderful. You get to let me know when I am wrong. Mm -hmm. Just pretty often. We would love to have Bex on the show. Always stay accurate. All right. So that is it for our top 10 rundown for the week. Um, I think everybody had a pretty good week. I don't have any input uh, on any games. Did you guys see any fun, uh, fun things happen at Chicago this weekend? Hmm. Fun things any at fun Chicago. Fun gameplay moments, plays of the week. Good sportsmanship, helping out the new people, anything like that? For me, it just felt really good to play with Juan again. It was nice. Oh. We were we were tearing it up in Shanty. Nice. Uh, oh, you guys played Shanty? Yeah, we played his map, and we played his game on Sniper. It was amazing. I'm just watching Juan rack up, like, tw average 20 kills per game. It's, it's, like, I'm just glad he was on my side. To, yeah, I'll just say that much. Left shot gave me a real beating on Sunday. Physically. Uh, physically? <laughs> <laughs> Great player. Always fun to play against. Good sportsman. He's on. Always, always nice to play against I'm... or with. Oh, mm -hmm. you guys keep talking. I'm, uh... Yeah, nah, he uh, kept me pretty much uh, almost pinned to the spawn. It was hard to get out in the oak. But, gotta check your backside, Juan. <laughs> oh, that is... Deadly accurate. All right. Uh, you guys and there's I'm looking the... up something here really quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then one more thing. I think, Chris, you mentioned this earlier, but something about bringing friends over to iCombat. Yes, bring your friends, bring your family. They will be always welcomed with open arms. We do not shun people away. We do not. We don't. I don't really hate anyone. Don't really dislike anyone. They're always welcome. I hope we don't hate anybody. It's not a lie there. We have a very inclusive. Uh, yeah. Very very inclusive. Of course, uh, mm -hmm. group of people here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, to answer some questions from the chat. Uh, da -da -da -da. Fern. Uh, is currently on. Uh, he's actually only hit one top ten list. Uh, he hasn't quite played enough to hit him in that much. I just looked through the old records, and this is the first week he's been on there. All right. Mm. All right. Rod's way is for not on the list. Oh, I just saw it now. I just saw it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah. that is it for our top tens. Thank you, guys. Um, we are going to go on to our first topic of the night. we got two discussion topics we're going to do today. Oh our first one is going to be our mission discussion from A to Z. And this week we've got elimination. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Everybody's our first kill. Game. It's our first kill game. Uh, kill. No, wait. no, we talked about Black Hawk Down. Never mind. Never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, another kill game. Well, Black Hawk Down, I would argue, isn't a kill mission. Like. His goal and that's to survive, not to kill. Correct, yes. Yeah, it is. But the it's points are very the points are nice. You know, the points are nice. All right. So usually we have Christian do this. I'm gonna put Ben on the spot. Ben, what are the game rules for elimination? Oh boy, so elimination. Oh yeah, top you three, got this, Ben. <laughs> oh thanks. Uh it's Big Mac, not hot shot though. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm never coming back now after that joke. That's fine. Guest hosts are uh, only but... one and done, so. Oof. Well. Yeah. <laughs> elimination. In this game mode, you will. The objective is to wipe out the enemy team, leaving no survivors. You have one respawn and unlimited ammo. All right. That's all there is to it. You kill, and then. If. 
You die, you die. Yeah, it's pretty easy. If not an entire team is dead in five minutes, it ends in a tie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a try. It is a tie. However, if you're in the solo league, you get no objective points unless you beat the other team. Remember ah, that? good clarification. Good clarification. Always good to clarify. Absolutely. Um, yeah, pretty pretty easy game. Um, what's some uh, what's some basic strategy you got for the people here? Uh, Mr. Christian, what uh, what can you tell the most basic of players to help them get better at this game? Uh, I know for Chicago maps, uh, this one's very crucial. Get upstairs. <laughs> get upstairs. <laughs> get let's go, let's go even more basic than that. Just very very first time player. What are you telling them to do? Very first time player. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm telling them. I always say slow down the game. Uh, you want to have them come to you for this one. Uh, it's very, it's not bad to pick up the defensive in this game because when people get like, you know, they get to, they're let's say you're you're down five and they're up to seven. There, there. I know there are some people that get so cocky they just like go straight into the enemy spawn. Uh, those are the people I wait for just to even out the game a bit. Uh, it's always nice to change the pace of the game to also cause confusion to the other team. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, Ben, what's your tips for the brand new player? Brand new player, get into cover right away. Like find someone to hide, camp down. You're not don't go on the offensive because with new players, them going on the offensive normally leads to them dying. So yeah, stay yeah. defensive and pick a spot. I tell them to avoid upstairs normally unless they seem to be competent at getting up there fast enough. Because otherwise, if they're not fast, they're not going to get up there and they're just going to be cannon fodder, which will die fast. Right. When I have a bunch of new people, I don't actually play for a win. I play for the draw at that point because I'm just hoping to survive the mission. I'm not good. Yeah, it depends. Right. Yeah, read the situation. Read the situation. Yeah. And then the cheesy move is also don't respawn right away. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that one a little bit later. So cheesy. <laughs> We're going to talk about that a little bit later. So Absolutely. All right. My basic strategy, I agree with everything you guys have said. Uh, defense is incredibly important in the game, especially if you're a brand new player. Um, use your respawn time wisely. Uh, if you do die, get back to base, respawn, and then go find cover. Um, what you really want to do is just have your gun up, as in all games. Just get the gun up, ready to shoot. If you don't have to pick your gun up, you get an extra half second where you can... If you don't kill them, you can at least put some shots on people. So uh -huh. um, it's always a, a big benefit. Also, a uh, big thing is to, to stay together with people, but don't clump up. Um, so if you can get around a couple of different corners, like kind of next to each other, as so you can see each other, um, you can give each other some cover. That's some pretty pretty good basic strategy. Um, advanced strategy. Um, so oh, person advanced that's strategy. Come, you see them, they're starting to become a regular. Uh, how do you get those, those kind of semi-regulars over to hump to being very good? Pick a spot, establish a kill zone. Just, you know, find the spot where you're most comfortable playing in. If you're downstairs, you find, you know, hallways on Alcatraz. Because we got strategy coming right out the gate. Mm -hmm. well, if you're, well, if you're Commander Irwin, you just take that center hallway and shanty. <laughs> Practically yeah. lives there. Might give him some Capri Suns there too. You know? I don't know. We're, we're going to give him a nice little futon right there. <laughs> yeah, literally. Just I'm, I'm waiting for the day they pull a cot from the basement up into the uh, up into the top area. You just see him laying down. A uh, cot. I'm going to. Oh man, that just gave me an idea. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take the time and effort to pull a cot somewhere in one of these areas. <laughs> right. Just to... They're not going to lay down because it's not allowed, but they're just going to see it and go, okay. Funny. Oh, and Funny. I should call you out on the chat. Absolutely <laughs> not. We would never no, try I... to anger you, sir. We we respect the scouts and we yeah. we want to only would... have the best relationship with them. Yeah. Um, we would just got a recliner there right there for you. Christian, what's yeah. your what's your advanced strategy? I would always for the new people, it's always slow down the game. For me and the regulars, I'm telling everyone to go upstairs and establish map dominance right off the bat. The more you control the map, the more you control the game. 
Awesome. Get to those control points. Hold the map mm -hmm. down. Hold the map down. Okay. Also, be quiet when moving. Because people like people like you, yeah. Brats, you listen. So if you're moving too fast, stomping around, I hear them coming around. I'm just gun up and pre-firing. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Your, your ears and eyes are just as good as your reaction, especially mm -hmm. on fields that have lots of shadows. Oh, I yeah. can't tell you how many times I've killed people just because I hear them coming around the corner or I see their shadow. Mm -hmm. um, my my actual strategy for this is a little bit different from all your guys. You guys are big on the camping and, and getting kill zones, etc. I I love rushing in this game. Get as many kills as you can the first death. Um, there's plenty of spots, at least on Alcatraz, that you can get to. Uh, where you can really be abusive if you get around a corner before they, they get to certain areas. Um, right. Some mm -hmm. of those are like outside the guard towers on the main floor. If you get behind that window, uh -huh. you can pretty much pick off seven or eight people before they realize what's going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can do the, the middle Zerg rush, as Powers likes to call it, right up the middle. Uh, you come up their back staircase. Um, doesn't work well if Tibbs and them are playing because they are quick to the middle. Um, oh, yeah. But you can usually get up to the back staircase and then either go upstairs and help your team secure it, uh, flink around the sides, uh, et cetera. Um, shanty, it's a bloodbath. Uh, you really just got to Yeah. It. You got to yeah. get upstairs on shanty, otherwise you're going to lose the game. Yeah, shanty, you just end up doing the dance of death up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always... It's always different depending on map, but Shanty I find I don't know, in my when I play and in my opinion, when I play on Shanty I feel like I have more freedom to be more offensive because of all the buildings that you have to offer to hide under. So oh, if you just if ridiculously you're ridiculously offensive. I'm offended right yeah. now. <laughs> I don't know, on Alcatraz oh. I feel like you have more opportunity to attack because it's more of a siege type map. Because everyone else is so dug in where you have to just go on the offensive, otherwise you lose. You kind of have to like lace each of their positions and tactically destroy them. Right. Um, actually, advanced strategies. We're going to stay there for a little bit before we go on to the actual fields. Uh, yeah. Respawning. Respawning? Why would you ever tell somebody to hold the respawn? To run down the clock, force a draw. Got to respawn. I've actually been been waging a little bit of a uh, behind the scenes upheaval. If I had my way, when I'm running ice, if you're not respawning, I'm just killing you. Mm. If you don't respawn in like 45 seconds, I don't think you should get your second life. I mean, it's a fair point, but it's also within the rules to you know do that. As long as you do that, so you can still be killed at the end. Mm, like, I respawn it's really at least. Not, though it, it's not explicitly said in the the description, but the team leaders should be monitoring respawns. Mm. At least that's how it's taught to the team leaders. Um, yeah. And all of the ice people are, are, are made where if someone doesn't respawn in 45 seconds, they get auto respawned. Um, mm. A lot of people take advantage of it. And I, I agree with Sean in the chat. It's, I, I think it's cheating. If you're not respawning, you're cheating. No, I agree. That's unfair. I just, you know, I'm playing with what I've seen and, you know, what I've been seeing people do. So, because yeah. I don't want to play at a disadvantage to everyone. Right, right. Um, I think at most you get 45 seconds, maybe a minute. I would argue a minute's fair, like on Alcatraz. But if it's the end of the game and you're just sitting at your base dead waiting to run the clock out? No. No. If, if the enemy team is on you, you lost. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you... For me, it's not 45 seconds, it's 30. Hmm. That's fair. I tend to give people a little bit more time because some people get lost on the field, especially new players. Oh, yeah, that's true. Some of them are like, I don't forget where my spawn is. And I'm like, oh, like just point I, them in the I right direction. Regulars that are just kind of poking the clock away. Yeah, I, I also agree with that, Sean. That's why you're on my team. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pretty much always, the minute I get back to spawn, I'll take like five seconds, check the score, and then I'll hit the button. Um, hmm. 
Nothing wrong with checking the score. You want to see feel, you want to see the situation like, ahead, you know? I always feel mm -hmm. like you need to be in the game. Um If you're old, fat, and slow. Well, if your name is Steve Enders, you're playing on Madison and you can't win elimination on that map anyway, so. That map's impossible oh, yeah. to win on. Just camp upstairs yeah. in the spot. Yeah, we were we were going over the rules for the solo league, and that's one of the things that he brought up because he was part of the beta test. Um, Initially, you got points for only winning, but you got... It counted as an objective loss if you didn't win the game outright. And uh, he brought up the fact that you just can't win that game on Madison. The minute someone goes upstairs, it's impossible to kill them up there. Oh, true. Very so true. So we, uh, we took it off of the objective list. So it still counts for objective points, but you don't get an objective loss if you get a draw on it. Mm -hmm. uh, Liana in the chat says... Uh, feels it's okay to hold for a little 30 seconds maybe. Sometimes you run into the spawn shooting. Uh, smart and fit about it and fair. Yeah, it's very objective. Um, I know there are a bunch of regulars that take advantage of the respawn times. I feel um, as long as you give people a chance to kill you, you know, before the clock runs out, it's fair. fair. Yeah. And I'm not saying like 20, 30 seconds. I mean, no, like of you have a minute left. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, I don't think that it's, it's outside of the realm to, to sit and spawn a little bit, but um, yeah, if it's if you're there for too long, and we know who you are, you guys aren't getting away with anything. Everybody in Nice who Nice knows who the people. Um, mm -hmm. we'll respawn you. Um, yes. sometimes. Oh, that's for actually, me. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, sometimes for me, uh, if I, uh, what's it called? Let's say like five, like five people die at different times and I lose track of who I was counting for. Like at the 30 second mark, as the game goes on, like five minutes, 4.30, four mm -hmm. minutes, 3.30, I would respawn a minute at the 30 second mark. Okay. I would do that too. Yeah, I've done that as well. Mm -hmm. Cause like there's so many people dying at the same time I lose track. So like, and I can't keep track of like twenty plus people at their separate times that they die. Right, and I if there actually, was a, I just thought of something. It's going to come up later in the discussion too. But the over in Michigan, they don't have the uh, anti camping respawn that we have, where you can shoot while you're alive, um, mm -hmm. or when you're dead. I mean, when you're respawning. So though their their field, uh, you really do have to be careful of when you respawn because you just may not even be able to get a shot off before you're dead again. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. I keep forgetting that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, people in the chat, if you want to give us any tips from your specific fields, um, I'll just talk about Shanty really quick while we're waiting for that to, to populate. Shanty's my field. It's my home. My spirit animal, if you will. Um, spirit animal. Shanty is, is great for elimination because it's really easy to get across the field if you need to. Uh, if it gets down to a small, like, three-on-three... Uh, you really have creative ways to get to the other side of the map or get upstairs and really find those last players and pick them off. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I like Shanty better than the other fields is it lets you creatively play a little bit more. Uh, Amish, Amish in the chat brought up something. Sorry, Ben, but yeah, mm -hmm. Amish really did bring up something in the chat. Uh, if there's um, a, like, Amish just said, like, you know, just a little quick go over. If you're a regular and, uh, what's it called? And you're doing a one for one, you're on the losing team, please don't leave. You're helping the team by staying there, blah, blah, blah. But Ben Doala, go on. Go ahead. Uh, oh, I was going to disagree with Prats on Shanty being the <laughs> one where you can. I would argue Alcatraz offers you, you know, more possibility. Because Shanty is also dictated by which one you spawn in. You know, which side? Because one side is you know a little more stronger than the other for when you start off with. Okay. With Alcatraz, it's balanced, so you it's more about the skill with which you play. Mm, I don't think Alcatraz is balanced. I'd argue the top floor is pretty balanced. And one side has a and... huge elevator to hide behind. How is that balanced? Mm. Sorry, it's still easy to get around the elevator. It's um, yeah, uh... it kind of it really does show when you're out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Because it's I also, think if you're in on the opinion. intake side, you have a huge advantage for the upstairs. Mm hmm. Yeah. You have, Unless somehow you have we were to make elevator. another. You have a giant cover. elevator at the top of the one side. And then your, your side stair up also has an ammo crate to hide behind. Not huge cover, but it is extra cover. Yeah. For some reason, whenever I'm playing on that map, that's the one that always gets camped by the people from bus stop. Like, you just get people up there like Tiberius, Greg, or, really? you know, any of those guys, or Killer Cobra. I've almost always found the opposite to be true. Hmm. Huh. But, uh, that's why, I, that's why I like to play on... The gear swap, I like it. That's why I like to play on bus stop. If I'm good on bus stop, then I'm going to be great on intake. That's so, right. like... Yeah, I mean, I think for a couple of reasons, I think, well, this is just my opinion, of course. Like, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're on intake, you get the extra elevator upstairs. You got the ammo crate on the side staircase to hide behind. You have two pretty offensive forward push spots to hide behind on both sides. You can hide behind the, if you're on death row side, you can go into that right side room. And mm -hmm. if you lean up against the interior window, or not the interior, the window, I guess, on your left facing the other team, you can shoot down their guard tower and kill them as they're turning. You can also push up next to the spawn on that side, and you have cover until they come out of the base. Like, all of those spots don't exist on the other side. Yeah. No, I see that. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. still argue that, that, very, elevator, very true. that elevator just makes it easier for you to camp the spawn because if they're going up the stairs, you can hide behind that elevator and you know pop out and get them going That's low. also fair, yeah. You can use the elevator offensively too. You're right. Absolutely. So, no, yeah. that's my two cents on that. No, absolutely makes sense. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, Power says show us on the map. <laughs> yeah, I could, but then this is going to happen because... I didn't set the cameras up. So I can just do this. Oh, uh, uh, well, yeah, we'll just do it. Uh. I'll just close all the cameras. Um, Where's my dot? Where's my dot? I can't see my dot. Oh, oh no. the dot's gone. No, it's gone. <laughs> oh, uh, no, the dot. Whatever, the dot's gone. I don't um, even know what we're talking about because my stream has been frozen on my phone for a few minutes. Yeah, no, there was a dot I could move around the stream, but it's all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're on the map mm -hmm. now. Um, yes. Yeah, there's, I mean, all the fields have their own. Oh, and wow. each player is different, too. I mean, each player is going to know what they want to do, so. Mm -hmm. What about, do you guys have experience with Madison's field? Not yet. No? Christian, we... Yes, I have. Uh, I don't remember playing Elimination, though. Okay. We, um, play, we played Judge Dredd, and it was somewhat like yeah, the same thing. Effectively the same. It um, would always be a tie, no matter right. what. So. It is very often a tie. Um, they have the upstairs above the spawn, which makes it almost impossible to win the game. Unless mm -hmm. you get a really early head start, or you have windows open on the top floor where you can shoot into them. Mm -hmm. um, it's difficult to play on that field oh excuse me because you also have behind the spawns where people can hide where it's like pitch black oh yeah that's true um there's just a lot that you have to get through in order to actually fly. um but it, when you do win it feels pretty good because <laughs> <laughs> you basically did the impossible so right, mm -hmm. right. um waukesha guys play there i will be soon okay and can't wait to try out them there? grenades oh he's distracted um waukesha is a it's another field that's very similar to shanty um lots of lots of corners to go through they have three three or four actual places uh that you can hide that are effective there's the mansion uh, on the entry side which has a lot of rooms to hide in uh, the market has a bunch of office areas around it, and then the upstairs, and then there's the uh, the ghetto side where again it's like a little maze on the right side or away from where you enter. Um, tons. Oh, oh, I forgot about that frog. They also have the grenade. Mm -hmm. So if you are hunkered down in a room, you go get the holy hand grenade, and um, you count five seconds. Yeah. 
Not stop at four unless immediately followed by five. <laughs> um, the grenade is really good at clearing. Four seconds. Okay, it's four seconds. Um, Wait, is that a correction on the grenade use field. or the reference? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, they switched them to four. <laughs> Warning, Wait. I will throw it back. Oh, God, that's terrifying, are, too. Are they allowed to? I guess. I mean, if you're going to die, pick up the grenade and chuck it back, right? Like, can I suicide bomb with it? Just, like, click you it and run it into the room? I think so. Oh, that's morbid. What? Running in with the grenade and just having it. <laughs> oh, unless you're dead. Okay, so I assume when you die, you have to drop it, right? I would assume. <laughs> okay. That's great. I love that. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Um, I would oh also... Boy. I also know, at least when I was playing with it, we cooked the hell out of that thing. We'd hold it to like three seconds and then roll it and cover. I assume that's very much a thing. That's something. That's yeah. something right there. Unfortunately, you don't get the actual points for killing with a grenade. They count as neutral kills. Oh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it's a little... Okay, then. Yeah, that's mm. the way cookie crumbles. That's um, how it goes. Yeah. I just want to go there with the shotgun and the grenades, just like clearing out rooms now. The shotgun's actually not good on that field. That's where they beta tested oh, it. It was miserable. Their field has just enough open space. Mm -hmm. Where if you're using the shotgun, you can really only play like in the inner market, like mm. my microphone, in the inner market area, and not many people go in there. Oh, that sucks. Um, well. yeah, Waukesha, good field. Um, oh, yeah. Michigan is again wide open. It's kind of like a paintball field. Um, they also have the different respawn rules. They do have some high ground that you can get up to. Um, I found on their field, though, it's generally pretty easy to actually win the game. Uh, once mm. you have a player advantage, because of the respawn rules, they don't give a lot of room for backs. Hmm. Um, Alrighty. Yeah, because you right. should be alive when you shoot. So. <sighs> Excuse me. Right. Well, uh, that is pretty much it for elimination. I'm going to get ready to talk about uh, our second discussion today. Uh, which is going to be a really quick just overview of like what to do when you respawn. Um, while that's happening, I'm going to keep an eye on the chat, see if anybody has anything they want to add. Also, next week, uh, we will be going over espionage, which is a game we don't play at Chicago. We'll brush up on so your I've... espionage. So I've never played it. Uh... Well, we'll talk about it next week. I've played it. Hey, so... look at that. All I picture is it's the spy from Team Fortress 2 yep. just running around. Yeah, Team Fortress TF2, man. We got a spy in here. <laughs> Pull out the dagger and just down the heavy in one shot. <laughs> no, I would just, the heavy. I just went full assault with the pistol on that. It's going like pew, pew, pew. That's a I, did not, I did not play yourself just enough times. I did not play snipe, uh, whatever it is, spy the right way. No, of course not. Whoever does. Um... All right, so respawning rules and tactics. Um, I think we should just kind of, I'm going to start out, and I'm just going to kind of give my my basics for new players and then advanced ideas for what you should do when you're respawning. Um, I'm pretty aggressive with my respawns uh, for new players, uh, at least on Chicago's fields. I feel like once you respawn, you can get to a place of cover inside of the respawn time without exposing yourself so you can get either into the guard towers on alcatraz um you can get behind the back respawn wall um shanty you can get into the first corners you can get out a good chunk into the field where you're not going to get picked off by the spawn campers as um but you can't waste your time which is the hardest part um a lot of new players you really have to break their idea of i'm beeping i want to make sure i'm alive before i go do something yeah. Um, a yeah. lot of people will hit the button and then they go, they go, they do this, and they look at their gun, and then when it stops beeping, they're like, "Okay, we can go." Well, I feel that's partially because of the intro video, because they're told when they're beeping, they're dead. Like, Fair. Mm. It does say that when you're beeping, you're dead. 
but it also says when you're reviving, you beep for three seconds. You're beeping. So, That's yeah. True. But I feel by that, that point, the video, the new people kind of get, like, tuned out. Right. Because, um, like, the moment it starts, they jump right on that equipment. Right. Um, I always try to remind people in the first game that we play, hey, you're alive, get out of here. Go hide somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But it takes people a little bit of time to get used to it. We've all been noobs before, we know. Um, we kind of know what happens. Um, I'm actually going to switch this over to the main window because I'm not going to type anything for this. Um, advanced strategy. When you come out of spawn, if you're a regular, always be shooting those areas where you know spawn campers are going to be. Guard mm -hmm. towers. Pre-fire. Pre Pre-fire. Pre I mean, there's no downside to it. Sorry, Waukesha. We're going to do it because we have to. Um, shoot the guard towers. Shoot the side corner spots. Um, Does Waukesha have a problem with pre-firing? Or... Waukesha is very anti-auto fire. Hmm. Um, it's because their field is one of the oldest fields, so they used to play single fire all the time. Hmm. Um, they have kind of like a code where it's better to not spam fire than to send bullets down range. Um, okay. The old M4 systems used to actually have a max capacity for ammo. So mm -hmm. once you hit your 150 shots, you'd have to go all the way back to spawn to get a new mag and come back out. Um, so single fire is better. It's just ingrained. Prefer to save ammo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, a lot of them have crazy accuracies, like over 20% lifetime too, which is awesome. Oh, dang. Yeah. I'm starting to get 20% right now on mine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just a different, like... Different field, different strategy, different everything. It's like a different world when you go up there. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's basically my strategy. I mean, you can't do a lot with your respawn. The biggest thing is to not waste it. Um, hmm. How do you guys feel? Who's next? Call the photo question. All right, cool. So basically, when uh, there's two different things... For me, so when I team lead, I always tell people at the beginning, the moment you hit the button, just go. Just get out of here, do your thing, just go. <laughs> like, don't stand here, look at the score, then hit the button. Don't hit the button, then look at the score. Yeah. So, like, because it, it's the first thing, it causes clutter, and it's hard to, it'll get to the point where it's even hard to respawn. So, always just hit the button and go. As a player, I don't necessarily have to fire unless I see them, but if I'm walking out, always keep your gun pointed towards where you know people will camp. And then the moment you see them, pop them, then run. Or don't run, jog. Jog to wherever you're going to go. Hmm. But for me, if... I always say for me, but I do a lot of different things. For Alcatraz, I really love to prioritize the the back spawn behind the spawn the box because not a lot of people when people men when the team leader mentions it a lot of people don't remember it so the moment my teammates see me use it it'll get to the point where they're like oh i forgot about that in speech or something like that. But, but yeah there's always more spawns for you to use if one's being cluttered use another one if both are being cluttered you have a back spawn Either way, just prioritize all your spawns depending on your situation and your next battle plan. Hmm. How about you, Ben? Well, I when I start off, I normally give the new people a little bit of a lecture on respawn etiquette. Don't stand in front of that tube. Like, that's something that needs to be said, because like you guys said, you, know, you get a lot of clutter around there, and you have more than one person trying to respawn normally at a time. Uh, but with my respawns, I try and just... Uh, Go bolt right to cover and get into concealment, because if you can see me, then I'm doing this wrong. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I've heard way too many people go like, I see Ben, he's upstairs. I'm like, shit. Get, oh, sorry. Language. Mm -hmm. uh, like, oh, butterfingers. They saw me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, gee willikers, mister. They saw me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh gee whiz. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. But yeah, it's spawning, it's basic basic to just hit the button and go. Don't wait around. Mm. Uh, you're wasting game time. If I see there's a group that, behind me, I do, you know, like, hold up to, you know, hit the button for them normally. But that's as long as I'm not an Alcatraz. Ooh. 
Good. Yeah. Man. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Bring it up them. pro mm. tier topics here. Okay, I got one to add in. If you are a player, regulars already do this. If you are a player and you see a player person on your team doing the spawn where they stand directly in front of the tube and block it and hit the button, correct them. Have them either move off to the side or just have them point their gun at it and then tell them to shoot. It is one of the more annoying things in the world for me. If I go back to spawn and someone like genuinely stands in front of the tube, like, like here's the respawn tube, and they're just like, and yep. then only one person gets it. Um, I I have made a habit very regularly of just turning to the side and just making sure I'm never blocking the tube, so anybody behind me responds as well. Yeah, that's why I kind of, like I said, give that lecture, right, when we start off after Team Deathmatch, yeah. kind of like, all right, guys, when you're starting, you stand to the side like this, and you press the button so everyone else can get in. Using his bottle as the tube. I love it. <laughs> I, I combat spawns. I have an emergency quick programming note. Um, I just checked. I just posted the uh, solo league signups again in the chat. I did that on accident. I was supposed to do that later, but... Um, mm -hmm. I just did that, and then I checked to see how many spots we have left. There is one spot left in the league. First come, first serve. Come grab those spots. Spot if you left. have beef, here it is. Like, <laughs> it's mine. No, I'm kidding. Uh... Yeah. Why aren't you signed up, Ben? I don't know. Stuff of it. I'll do it. It just most of the sessions I play, it's kind of hard to find enough people. Oh it's, well. I mean, there's because I come in Thursdays and Sundays. Games. I I lowered some of the requirements. No, then eh, I guess I'll do it. Yeah, just check out the document again. It's uh, uh we'll talk about it in a second. But all right, uh, so everyone, last spot's taken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, yeah, just making sure you get everybody respawned and then getting them out of base. That's the biggest thing. Um. Madison respawning only go in the front door only go out the side doors only go in the front door only go out the side doors once again I say only go in the front door and only go out the side doors unless you're going back, upstairs for the people in back that didn't hear only go in the front door and only go out the side doors everyone get that one hope y'all got that one there will be a quiz later <laughs> I've seen too many people. I I don't even play there often, and I've seen too many people get hurt doing that. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh yeah. Um. Sorry, Ashaway, you didn't hear it. You only go in the front door, and you only go out the side doors. Nobody so uses the one way doors. street. They don't exist. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, Sean. That's. That's a thing. Um, let's see what else we got. Waukesha is a wide open spawn. Um, so their spawn tube is kind of fully exposed. If you're on any of the flanks, you can look right into the spawn. If you're up on top of the building, you can look down into the spawn. Um, they do have a hallway that leads away from the spawn for each base. Um, but again, there you really need to use that spawn time to get to somewhere safe. Um, be it the ghetto, sprint upstairs, sprint upstairs, um, put some lasers on the upstairs area to just keep people suppressed. Um, <clears throat> I need some water because my voice is going out. I'll be right back. Well, I guess just covering also just one more general topic on respawning. Something I occasionally do is uh, I occasionally obnoxiously sing sad, sad, uh, songs very loudly to draw attention to myself. Oh. Uh. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Nice. Like, you have seen me on Alcatraz up on the yeah. top floor seeing Country Roads. That's true. That's a good song, though. That's oh, it is. Very good. But I do it like during those slow. missions where it's like Black Hawk Down or Elimination, just that people come into me instead of the team. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yep. And then most of the fields also have alternate spawns. So uh, Alcatraz, they're behind the back spawn area. Um, Madison, yep. they're behind the buildings. So you do have mm -hmm. one on the outside behind the buildings. Uh, Waukesha, they have them. 
um, to the flank of the main spawn. Uh-huh. And Michigan does not have alternate spawns. They just have the main base. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. The one by and then Michigan. Bus stop. Yeah, go ahead. Bus oh, stop. the one by bus stop has like something in front of it right yeah, now. Yeah, they got like a, a scissor little... lift blocking it right now. Yep. I don't know what's up with that. Mike, get that off the field, man. Uh, oh gosh. Um, Michigan also is on the old spawn system. Uh, so their spawn is you cannot shoot until you're fully alive. Um, and wow. you it's two shot kills. So. Double taps were how it used to be, man. That's how you got all these big giant kill streaks. You just pop, 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 pop. Do they still use the CO2 guns or are they on the no, new No, they equipment? got the uh, SMGs. Okay. Yeah. Um, when we went up there the first time, they actually had it more of a, like a laser quest style where you got hit once and then you got a damage shield for a second and then when you got hit again, you would die. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, but it was really weird because you would get hit, then your gun would turn off, and then you'd come back alive, but you couldn't shoot quick enough, so you'd die anyways. Oh, that's um, dumb. It was wild. We were so confused. Um, <laughs> Ash away. Calling Ash, us their insane. accuracy is so bad because it's literally a paintball field. You have to be shooting nonstop or you're going to die. Um, go check out the Michigan Players Group or some YouTube videos on uh, Meth and Them to see how they have to play there. It's... It's a totally different game from playing in Waukesha. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. Yeah. It's good mm-hmm. to learn. Good to learn. Mm-hmm. All two right. Shot, Ash. I think... Ash away, two shot kills. How is their accuracy so bad? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, most okay. of their accuracies are like five and lower percent for a full session. Um, It's pretty wild, but you have to. Otherwise, you're just going to get picked off. Um, mm-hmm. All right. I think that's going to be it for respawn. You guys got anything add in to add into that discussion? Uh, mm. uh, I would say if you're nice enough, it doesn't hurt to respawn in your teammates for them and tell them get out. So. <laughs> Even if you're not nice, spawn them in and tell them to get out anyways. Oh, yeah, true. Hey, new people, just look nice so that way you don't look like uh, it. Yeah. This conversation is making it sound like we don't enjoy having new players because, like, respawning is one of the most frustrating parts because you literally just died. You have to go all the way back to base. You have to hit the button and you have to go back and fight. We're there to help the new people. We love you guys. If you're a new player and you're watching this podcast, know that all of the regulars genuinely love you. Without you guys, the sessions would dry up. We would have no new regulars. People play for. I would say on average five to six months if you're a regular and then you kind of fall off a little bit unless you're psycho like me and you've been playing for three years straight. Um, Like everybody that's in this chat, we've all dedicated significant quantities of time to laser tag. And money. And (laughs) most expensive team membership I've ever had. Um, Without the new players, we wouldn't be able to do this. We wouldn't be able to have people to play against because you can't play five on five on most of these fields. Um, you need to have the players. So um, thank you to all the new people that come out and they give it a shot and then they realize, you know what? That was rough, but I liked it. Let's go back and do it again because we see you. And then we get, we get teams like the Scouts and we get teams like, um, like the new regulars of... Um, Oh, I'm on the spot right now. X-Ray Gun, oh, Liana, and we get Tactical and his kids that show up. And then we got uh, Siddiqui. Joe and Joey and... Um, Killer Cobra, Killer Cobra out, out, Tiberius. Out, Tiberius. We get the people up in Madison. We got the, the Mandorians, Mando, Man, Mangolians, whatever they're called. Um, <laughs> team, Team 13 in Chicago. We got Mayhem over in, in Waukesha. I mean, everybody starts as a new player. Mm-hmm. Um, you just got to stick it out and figure out where your play style is. And then then you become one of the family. Mm-hmm. And then you... Uh, you see yourself... Yeah. You see yourself grow. Yeah. It's visible. Like, we see, we all see it. You see it. Yeah. Um, it goes from to a point where you're just trying to get a positive... 1 KD to the point where you're like, dang, my KD's at 2, and that usually never happens. And you see yourself grow. Yeah, it's wild. And everyone, Mm -hmm. everyone, with some exceptions, but everybody pretty much is there to support each other. 
we get heated when we're playing because we're freaking we're freaking competitive. I mean, it's laser oh. tag, but we're going for it. Um, but without those new players, we really couldn't do this. So we appreciate mm-hmm. that, and we're really excited to see Waukesha, uh, kind of coming back from the ashes, kind of rising up a little bit. Um. They've been they kind of fell off the map for a while, and now that uh, they got some new ownership up there, it sounds like some great things are happening up there. So uh, mm-hmm. we are really looking forward to seeing what we can do up there. Yeah. Um, oh, and this is I guess a kind of tangential shout out for this, but yeah. uh, if you're at Chicago, I'm designing a travel shirts for Chicago so that we can represent when we go abroad, like Michigan has. Oh, there we go. We're not That's yelling. Good. We're projecting. We're projecting. I agree. Projecting. That is truth. I am educating at a higher level of voice. All right, that's enough lovey dovey. Mm-hmm. We are coming up on hour ten. That's pretty good for a pretty good for a week here, I think. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. So, gentlemen. Oh yeah, by the way, Wednesdays for the boys. Oh yeah, Wednesdays for Wednesdays for the boys. We need Pull you back out. here, Birdie. We're lacking our female representation, my my, my dude. <laughs> All right. Remember, Commander Irwin once in on the podcast. So. Yep, I did get some messages here throughout the thing, so we'll uh, we'll talk to you guys throughout the week. We'll see when we can get you in. Um, mm-hmm. we're gonna well, I get do... to do the YouTube thing and say first. Yeah. Well, you're gonna go first here. So. Oh shoot. Um, no. What What do you got coming up in the uh, the upcoming week here? Any shout outs, etc. This is your uh, your chance to do whatever you'd like, uh, Mister uh, Not Birdie. You're up first. Well. Uh, if anyone wants to join me in tomorrow, I'm playing Thursday, 7 and 8, after that private session at 6. Uh, this is a shout-out for my boys in red over at iCombat, holding down the line. Um, well, that's, I guess, you two also. <laughs> yep. Uh, and yeah, feel free to join me up in Waukesha on the 27th. Otherwise, feel free to like, comment, subscribe on this video once it goes onto YouTube, and follow me on YouTube, Coding Frenzy. Thank you. Nice, you did great. All right, 10K, what do you got going on? All right, guys, so I need you all to bear with me here when I say I am managing for the first time this week. So if something goes wrong or something new comes to light to me, it's go easy on me. It's my first time managing, okay? So take it easy on me. I will not have that much playing time this week. I might not play at all. But It'll be cool managing. It'll be cool being the guy in charge for once, uh, play, calling shots and everything. Uh, I'll try to run it the best as I can. Um, other than that, I hope this week is really fun, and it'll be good to see everything from a different perspective. Even after two years of working there, things are always new, never a dull moment. And then I will throw it down to Chris. What's up, man? What are you doing? Well, I am going to be spending the next week getting the solo league set up and administrated. Um, we have pretty much everybody that's paid that is remote. So um, I will be at iCombat Friday night, Saturday afternoon uh, in order to catch the local players that still have to pay me. Give me your money. It's going to be worth it. I got plaques. I got awards. Um, I am purposely not playing in this because I want to just administer it and make sure it's running as smoothly as possible. Um, what else do we got going on? Um, as a public service announcement to all the people out there, I, I know that the, uh, the current events in the world are a little bit scary with the coronavirus, even if it's not scary, it's a thing. Just make sure you're all washing your hands. Take care of yourself. If you're sick, don't come out in public. Uh, please laser tag will be there for you when you get healthy. Uh, if you got the flu, take a weekend off. Don't get us all sick. Some of us don't have great insurance. (laughs) If any of y'all get me sick, I'm going to just spawn kill you the whole next session. Right. Um, but outside of that, I don't have a lot going on. Um, I will likely be going up to Waukesha again uh, with, uh, with Ben in two weeks. So that'll be fun. Come play. I almost said come play with us. Would have had to not monetize this video. Um, what else is there? Solo League. Uh, next week we're going to be talking about espionage. Oh, uh, if you want to play Call of Duty Warzone, it is cross-platform, free-to-play. I've been playing every night this week. I've been streaming it as well. 
um, come join us in our Discord. Um, I'll link that here in the chat in a little bit, but we do have the Discord up and running. Uh, voice chats, uh, general chats, planning chats. Uh, we got chats sous vide. Uh, we've got uh, chats Benedict. Pretty much any version of chat you would like, we can get for you. Um, outside of that, uh, we're still a couple spots away from hitting our sub goal to get that last emote, so please go ahead and do that. Replay for this is going to be up tomorrow at 1 o'clock. I am stalling so that I can look for a song to play us out with here. Um, I do believe that Birdie will be back next week. Cro fingers crossed. If she is, maybe we'll pick up a fourth host. I believe next week we're also going to have a pretty cool announcement from our friends up in Madison. Uh, Living for the moment wants to come on and give a uh, exclusive announcement, if you will. Ooh. So there is an announcement of an announcement there for you. Um, oh. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty exciting week. If anybody in the chat wants to give any shout-outs before we go, I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds to put those shout-outs there, and then you guys can read them off as they pop up while I look for some music to play it out. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't sign be... 19 said BTW. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frog Champ, joining you on Warzone, Chris. Yeah, I'm down. Always. Uh, uh, just so hang out in the chat. Out we'll, we'll boys. Trade shout, out to Miz... shout out to Missouri. Live for the morning. Live in the session at Chicago Madison, boys, coming up. Frankenstein. All right. All right. New update. I wonder what. N2O twice as woohoo. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, I got man. my song. For those of you who have played with me doing ice, you will know that this song is what I end every team deathmatch part two with. So, all right, guys, that is going to be it for Gear Swap Podcast episode five. It is Corona time. I am Brock. Corona. We have Christian and we have Ben here. Every week, it's the same deal. Check your gear. If it's not working, just come to us and go ahead and get yourself a gear swap. Thank you, guys. We will see you next week, same time. We love you all. Bye.